Hi friends, welcome to Sada Learning Hub. You are with me, Sada Shorao. Today's session, we are going to learn the most important JSP interview questions. See here, in this video, I am going to cover the most important 15 JSP interview questions. The first question is, what is the PACE directive? A PACE directive is to inform a JSP engine about the headers or facilitates that the page should be get from the environment. Typically, the page directive is found at the top of almost all of the JSP pages. There can be any number of page directives within a JSP page. If you see, this is the syntax, the page, this is the directive, attribute, this is the value. If you see, this is the directive, this is the include directive. I'm adding the file. I'm giving the file. What it is saying include means I'm including the header.jsp into your my page. Response into my page. The page directive, it informs the JSP engine about the headers or a facilitates that page should be get from the envir uh, environment. Typically, the page directives is found at the top of almost of all the JSP pages. That is the about page directive. The next question is, what are the attributes of page directive? See here, I'm going to explain some of the attributes of the page directive. There are the 13 attributes are defined for a page directive. For which I'm going to discuss about some of the most important attributes. There is a 13 attributes are available. The import attribute. The import attribute, it specifies the package that are to be imported. The next one is the session attribute. The session attribute, it specifies whether the session data is available in the JSP page or not. Content type attribute. The content type attribute, it allows a user to set the content type for a page. Just it is set allows the user to set the content type of the page. The next is, is EL ignored? It specifies where, whether the expression language are ignored when in JSP translated to a servlet. See here, there is a 13 attributes are available for the page directive. Now I am going to discuss the most important attributes. Those are import, session, content type and is EL ignored. All these are specifying to the JSP engine some information, just information. Import what it is specifying, it is specifying to importing the sum of the classes into our JSP pages. The next session, what it is specifying, it is specifying whether the session data is available on the JSP page or not. Just the directive means, the page directive means, the page directive itself, it is specifying it is giving information to the JSP engine. The next question is, what is the include directive? There are the 13 attributes are defined for the page directive of which is the important attribute as follows. If you see include directive, include directive is the one of the directive available in the page directive. The include directive is used to static statically inserts the content of the resources into your current JSP. This enables a user to reuse the code without duplicating it. It includes the content of the specified file at the translation time. If you see the syntax of the include directive, if you include is the directive and it takes an attribute called file under file name. The directives has only one attribute called file that specifies the name of the file to be included. If you in the C, in the include directive, we can specify which file you want to, we are going to include. We need to specify in the include directive. The next question is, what are the JSP standard action tags? What are the JSP standard actions? A JSP standard actions effort affects the overall runtime behavior of a JSP page and also the response sent back to the client. If you see, a JSP standard action tag affects the overall runtime behavior. Means, if you see for example, forward tag, forward standard action tag. 
the forward standard action tag what it is does it forwards your request and response to one page to the another page it may be a page or it may be a servlet means it is changing the overall runtime behavior of your jsp page they can be used to include a file at the request time to find and instantiate a java bins to forwarding the request to the new page to generate the browser specific code for example include forward use bins if you see use bin set property get property all those things are used to create a java bin components into your jsp page like that means it is going to change the overall runtime behavior of your jsp page the next question is what are the standard action tags available in the jsp page see here there is some standard action tags available in your jsp page those are the first one is jsp colon include tag the include tag it includes the response from a servlet or servlet or a jsp page into your current page it differs from an include directive in a in, uh, in that it includes the resources at the request processing time whereas the include directive includes the response at the translation time see here there is a two tags are available the include directive and include action tag the include directive include the resources at the translation time but include action tag includes at the run time the next standard action tag is jsp colon forward it forwards a response from a servlet or a jsp page to the another page the forward standard action tag is it forwards the response from servlet or a jsp page to the another page the next one is jsp colon use bin it makes a java bin available to a page and instantiates the java, java bin see here if you want to create a java bin object we can use the use bin to create our java bin object into your jsp page the next one is jsp colon set property the jsp colon set property it sets the properties of your java bin next jsp colon get property the jsp colon get property is used to get the properties from your java bin the next one is jsp colon param and params tag it is used in the conjunctions with the jsp colon forward tag or a jsp colon plugin tag to add the parameters to the request these parameters are provided using the name value page see here whenever you are forwarding your request or whenever you are uh, whenever you are using the jsp colon plugin tags definitely sometimes we need to forward the additional parameters in that situation we can use the jsp colon param and the param tags to send the additional parameters to the along with the plugin and forward tags the next one is jsp colon plugin tag it is used to include a java applets or a java beans in the current jsp page for example if you want to include a applet into your jsp page in that situation we can use the jsp colon plugin tag these are the standard action tags available into your jsp the next one is what is the j what is the standard action tag see here for example the jsp colon use bin standard action tag what it is used to locate an existing java bin or to create a java bin if it does not exist it had an attribute to include the object instance to specify the life cycle of a bin and specifies the fully qualified class path type the standard action means it gives a particular functionality for example if you take a java bin, use bin the use bin means what it is first it creates first it checks the java bin object is available in your page or not the java bin is available it it gives the java bin object if it is not available it create a new java bin object and it will give it to you that is called standard action tag the next question is what are the scopes are available in the jsp colon use bin if you see the scopes are available in the jsp colon use bin or there is a four scopes are available for the use bin the first scope is page scope 
whenever you are creating a java bean object in your page scope that java bean object it possible to use within the page scope only the next one is request scope whenever you are creating a java bean object in the request scope it will be available the java bean in the throughout the request the next one is application scope whenever you are creating an java bean object in the application scope it specifies that object will be available throughout the entire web application but not outside of the web application the next scope is session object session scope sorry the session scope whenever you are creating a java bean in the session scope it specifies that the object will be available throughout the session with a particular client these are the four scopes we can create your java bean object into your jsp page the next question is what is the jsp colon forward standard action tag see here the jsp colon forward uh, forward standard action tag forwards the response from servlets or a jsp page to the another page whenever we are sending the whenever we are forwarding the response whenever we need the forward the response we can use the jsp colon forward tag it will be used to forward a servlets or a jsp to the another jsp the execution of the current page is stopped and the control is transferred to the forward page whenever you are forwarding the request automatically it tra uh, it stops the uh, it stops the current page and the control is uh, transferred to the forwarded page if you see the syntax we can use this uh, syntax whenever you are using the jsp colon forward tag the next uh, here if you see in this syntax there is a target page is available the target page can be you can be a jsp page and a html page or it may be a servlet we can use it in any or any of these three if anything is written uh, to a output stream that is not a buffered before a jsp colon forward and illegal exceptions will be thrown whenever we are intended to use a jsp colon forward or a jsp colon include in in a page buffering should be enabled but default buffer is enabled anyways default buffer is enabled must and should whenever you are using the jsp colon forward and jsp colon include must and should we need to enable ever buffering the next question is what is the jsp colon include standard action tag the jsp colon include standard action tag enables the current jsp page to include a static or a dynamic resources at a runtime if you see here this is the jsp colon include standard action tag whenever you are using the jsp colon include standard action tag it will be include a static or a dynamic content at the runtime see here here, here this include this action tag it includes the response at the run time not translation time at the run time in the counter tag to the include directive if you see in the include directive it will be include at the translation time if you see there is a two tags are available there is a jsp colon include standard action tag and the jsp uh, in the include directive the jsp colon include standard action tag it will be include a static or dynamic resources at run time but coming to the j in include directive it will be included at the translation time the next question is uh, what is the difference between include directive and include action if you see include directive and include action the include directive includes the content of the specified file during the translation phase and coming to the include action tag it includes at the run time and coming to the include directive the include directive is used to statically inserts the content of a resources into the current page see here it statically inserts the content of the resources into the current jsp page this include standard action tag enables the current jsp page to include the static or a dynamic resources at run time using the include directive if the file changes rarely it's a faster mechanism uh, but use this include action only the content that changes often if which page is include cannot be decided until the main page is requested why because it is going to include at the time of run time 
that's why we can't decide when uh, before loading a main page the next question is uh, differences between a page context dot include and jsp colon include see here the jsp colon include is a standard action and it page context dot include method are both used to include the response at the runtime but here the difference is here we are using an uh, tag based programming but here uh, page context dot include method we are using the programming way however the page context dot include method always flushes the output of the current page before including the other components whereas jsp colon include flushes the output of the current page only if the value of flush is explicitly set to the true see the only one difference both are used to include the response at the runtime and the, there is a only two differences are available but here you are using the tag level but coming to the page context dot include we are using the programming level and one more difference is page context dot include by default it will be an, uh, flushing is enable but coming to the jsp colon include tag we need to explicitly enable the flush the next question is what is the jsp colon set property action tag see here in the jsp standard action tags there is a one tag is available that is called jsp colon set property tag you use the jsp colon set property to give a values to the properties of a bean that have been refreshed earlier we can do this in a two contexts first you can use the jsp colon set property after but outside of jsp colon use bean element as follows see here first before using the jsp colon set property definitely we need to create or we need to check the J, uh, java bean is available or not we can use the jsp colon use bin tag it will be create a java bin object first it is use colon jsp colon use bin tag first it will check the java bin object is available or not if it is available no problem if it is not available it is going to create a java bin object after that we are next we can use the jsp colon set property we can inject the values into a, that particular java bin object in this case the jsp DAW colon set property is executed regardless of whether a new bin was instantiated or existing bin was found if you see in the second context in which jsp colon set property can appears is inside the body tag of a jsp use bin element if you see here i am creating creating a jsp colon use bin inside the jsp colon use bin i am going to set the property by using jsp colon set property for setting the values of that particular setting the properties of that particular java bin object these are the two ways to create a uh, to use the jsp colon set property tag the next question is uh, what is the jsp colon get property tag the jsp colon get property action is used to access the properties of a bean that was set using by the jsp colon get property action tag the container converts the properties to the strings as follows it is uh, if it is an object it is used to the to string method to convert to it to string if it is a primitive it converts it directly to the string using the value of method of a corresponding wrapper classes if you see if you want to get the properties of a particular java bean we can use the syntax like this jsp colon set property name is equal to we, which java bean we are going we are getting the property and which property we are getting the value we just we can use the jsp colon get property like this see here in this line name is an id of a java bean from which the property was set the property attribute is the property to get a user must create a local bean using the jsp colon use bin action before using the jsp colon get property see here before using the jsp colon get property definitely we need to create a java bean object by using the jsp colon set property otherwise it going get an exception the next question is 
what is the use of jsp colon param standard action the jsp colon param standard action is used with jsp colon include or jsp colon forward to pass the parameter names and the values to the target resources see here whenever you are using the jsp colon include or a jsp colon forward definitely sometimes we need to forward the additional parameters along with this request in that situation we can use the jsp colon param and jsp colon param tags um, params tag to send the additional parameters along with the your request for in include and forward tags the next question and final question is what is the jsp colon plugin action tag see here this is the action let you insert the browser specific object for embed the element need to specify that the behavior run an applet using the java plugins see if you want to execute any embedded tags any embedded uh, elements just we can use the jsp colon plugin for example if you see java applets java applets if you want to um, plug in your java applets or if you want to embed the java applets into your jsp page just we can use jsp colon plugin jsp colon plugin action tag directly we can plug in in a um, applet into your jsp page that's why uh, that is the way we can use the jsp colon act, uh, plugin action tag into your jsp page thank you guys thank you for watching this video next video i am going to cover the most important next uh, 15 jsp interview questions keep thank you so much watching this video hope this lesson helpful to you keep watching our lessons keep writing to us do not forget subscribe our channel Sadot Learning Hub because we have many sessions that would help you to develop our skills and I will be back soon till then you take care bye bye.